Hello everybody, Matt here. Thanks for watching. So, what bugs are we going to learn how to make today? Well, this guy, Styx River Nymph. I got this pattern from the Triple F Pattern Encyclopedia. I've been tying this thing for about 97 years now. That's like four score and a few more years, whatever the hell the score is. Don't believe me? I once caught this fish with it. That was a lie. I've never even used this fly. But, by the time you're watching this, I might have, and I might have caught that fish. Probably not. Anyway, if you want to learn how to tie this, stick around. So, in the vise, I've got a size 12 barbless nymph hook. It's 2x long, 1x strong. I'm going to be using black 70 UTC thread. So lay down a base all the way back to the bend of the hook, start of the bend, about where the barb would be before we tie on our tail. Now the tail of this thing is just some fibers from black hen hackle. Whatever black hen hackle you have laying around, maybe about a hook gap long. Pretty good size chunk of them right there, depending on the the thickness of your, your fibers, I suppose you can make that call right there. So I'll lay a couple of wraps down, check my position, make sure I'm coming off the top there. And it's pretty well enough coming off the top. Now I'm just going to bury this in. Bring my thread back up to the front and tie in my rib. I'm using size medium gold wire. You could go down to brassy, but I, I think the medium has looked just a little bit better on it. So I'll tie it in along the side or the top. Whatever you pick, just try to keep it parallel all the way down. So get it down there. Now for the dubbing on this, just black rabbit fur. Put a little wax on. Get a little clump of this. Put a tight little noodle and wrap it up. If you can get a Slight taper, all the better. I'm going to put a touch more dubbing on this one. Okay, that looks all right. Now just counter wrap your wire rib. After you get a couple of lock and wraps, pull the thread down tight, spin it off. Now for the wing case, just wood duck, mallard flank fibers, whatever you got handy in a natural or a bronze or gold color. Take a good sized chunk of these, about like that. Pull them off. I'm gonna flip it around. There we go, that's going to be enough right there. Tie that on just in front of your the body you just made. Try to get it on the top, but you can situate it when you, when you pull it over if you need to. They'll spread out a little bit on you. You just have to manipulate it a little. Okay, that looks fine right there. Let's go ahead and cut these stubs off. Okay, now for the, the thorax, just a little bit more of that same dubbing. Now for the legs on this guy, take a smaller feather from that same bird you use for the tail. Make a little notch in it. Find a feather, the a feather, and which is going to have the length of the of the legs you want. So I think I've measured that one about how I want it. Now I'll start tying it in a little bit closer to my side because it's hard to get a pinch wrap on this, and these things will likely spin just a little bit on you. 
So before you get any locking wraps, just get your legs situated where you want them. Are they coming off both sides? Yeah, pretty much. So I think I can go ahead and lock that in with a medium and another tight wrap there. Now that should be secure enough to go ahead and trim this piece off. Get it as short as you can, make the head easier in the end. Now take your wood duck flank, mallard flank, whatever you've got for your wing case here. Just pull these over. I'm going to have one that didn't want to cooperate. I will trim that when the guy's sticking off in the back there in just a minute. So try to spread that out a little bit, evenly on top if you can make it happen. Before you lock it in, take a look at it. Is that centered on the top? Yeah, except for that one crazy fiber sticking out. So uh, I'm going to put another tight wrap or two before I cut this off. Cut that as close as you can. Make the head clean up a little bit easier. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that one little wild one right there. Almost done with this thing. So let's just clean up the head. Start your thread right up behind the eye. Build a little ramp as you go back. Now four or five turn whip finish, maybe a little bit of cleanup, and this thing will be done. Got a little bit of scruff coming off the bottom right here. I can just trim that up. Or not worry about it. Call it done. There you have it, folks. Sticks River Nymph. Great all-purpose nymph. As far as I can tell, I've never fished with it, but I'm going to. So if you've watched this far, I really appreciate it. I hope you will consider subscribing. That's all. Thanks again.